Fireball had a big wreck in Charlotte. NASCAR got really involved. Firestone was the one that came up with the fuel seal. If a car flips over or crashes like Richard Petty's, the balls in the valve fly up and close off the tank openings, keeping the fuel inside. They tested that thing, said, okay, everybody's got to run one of them. But it saved 99% of, of all the fires. Up to that time, they had a uniform. At the racetrack, they mixed up a bunch of whatever and you had to go dip it. I guess it was fireproof, I don't know. <laughs> DuPont had just come with a fireproof material, so my mother made me a fireproof suit. NASCAR started demanding, okay, this is a new rule. Everybody's gotta have this kind of stuff, and it's gotta be fireproof. So there was no, no more dipping. Everybody went to uniforms. And at the same time, Goodyear was testing their inner lines. The culprit for the last race, they said, was tires. The Goodyear engineers came up with a new design. They said, okay, I want you to go out, get up to speed. I want you to run across this thing and blow a tire. Okay. <laughs> I just could not believe knowing the thing was gonna blow. I mean, I blew a bunch of tires and didn't know it, but I didn't have time to think about it. When, when they asked you to go out, and run over these things and blow a tire, at what speed were you running? Probably 170 mile an hour, something like that. So you, ju you just intentionally run over something in the middle of the racetrack at 160 or 70 miles an hour? <laughs> it took a while for me to do it. Yeah. I had, had to talk myself into doing it. Anyhow, it proved to really be a big, big safety deal for us, and they still run them. Once they seen me wreck at Darlington in 1970, come in, hit the inside wall, and then it went up and turned over three or four times. I think my arm kept going out the window, and it wound up upside down. Exactly, but there's been a crash on the home stretch, a car upside down. And that's a Richard blue Petty. car, it is Richard Petty. So it happened, I think, that Dale and Richie uh, were the first ones to the car. Pulls the seat belt, and I hit the roof upside down. And I said, ooh. And they said, oh, he's OK. <laughs> Another concussion. <laughs> when you go by that spot on the track, you think about that crash? No, I don't think about the crash. I just know that I can crash, because that cement wall was awful hard up there. I think after that, one of the first things they done was mandate that you gotta have a winter net. What's this device I see on the top of your car here, Richard? What will that do? Well, this is what we got now that comes down and fastens to the roll bar. We made this out of nylon. Basically, in 1970, middle of the year, it was an automatic thing, another, another safety feature. To do something well is important, and to die doing it well is more important not to have done it at all. Life should be measured in terms of achievement, not in years alone. And they win glory, and they suffer, and they die. The sport goes on, the world of sport continues to turn, just as the earth itself.